Hi, today I'm going to show you how to control an LED display via Wi-Fi. And to do that, I'm going to use a Wi-Fi shield, an Arduino Omega, a NeoPixel Matrix as a LED display, and uh, a breadboard, and then a LiPo battery. Okay, mounting the Wi-Fi shield onto the Arduino Omega is quite different from mounting the Wi-Fi shield onto the Arduino Uno. Okay, I've explained how to do that in my tutorial on ArduinoHacks.com So you can check it out. The link is on the comments section below Okay, I've already done the whole setup. I'm going to walk you through it. So the NeoPixel matrix has three pins There's the 5V, the ground, and the digital pin So the ground pin is represented by the brown wire on the positive 5 pin is represented by the orange wire and they're connected directly to a 5V LiPo battery and the digital pin is connected to the Arduino Mega D6 pin also in controlling new pixels using the Arduino it's always important to remember that you have to reference the ground of the Arduino with the ground of the power supply which is in this case is the LiPo battery so I connected the ground of the LiPo battery to the ground of the Arduino. Okay, I've already connected the power. I'm powering the new pixel matrix with the LiPo battery and the Arduino via the USB cable. To control the LED display via Wi Fi, I created a simple HTML page and hosted it onto the Wi Fi web server. To access that web page, I'm going to enter the IP address of the Wi Fi shield onto the web browser like this I'm going to wait for the web page to load okay, I've shown you how to do that how to do everything on ArduinoHacks.com in a previous tutorial so you can go back and check so as you can see now the web page has come up and I'm going to show you how to control the LED display using this web page okay to effectively demonstrate how the web page controls the led display i mounted the neopixel matrix onto my monitor and dimmed the lights okay this is how the web page works uh, i'm going to enter a number on the display number text box then select a color between red green and blue and then submit once i submit the new ma new pixel matrix is going to display the number with its respective color also there's another uh, mode which is the automatic mode where i'm going to enter a into the display number text box and uh, change the color to whatever color i want between red green and blue and then when i press submit it's going to count from zero up to nine so let's do this Okay, so now I'm going to enter 1 into the display number text box, so 1, and okay, I'm going to leave the color as red, and then submit, so 1 dis is displayed, so let me wait for the page to load again, okay, it has loaded, so I'm going to display 2, and okay, let us make it blue, submit, so it displays two in the color blue. Okay, let me wait for the page to reload. Okay, so I'm going to display also three, but this time around it's going to be green. So I press submit. Brings a green three. Okay, that also applies to every other number. So if even if I select six and say we make it blue and submit. It's going to bring a blue six so that's that can be done for all numbers from zero up to nine okay now for the automatic mode i'm going to enter a, a small a then select the color let me just leave it at okay let me just leave it at red then i submit so it's going to count down or count up from zero up to nine Ok, 
Okay, there are several things that you're meant to note when doing this project. First one is that the laptop and the Wi-Fi shield should be connected to the same hotspot. And also, you should change the IP address of your laptop to match that of your hotspot, with the exception of the last two bits. Okay, another thing to note is that you must wait for the web page to reload before you send any other command. And uh, okay, in some cases, the, the web page might uh, okay have already finished reloading, but the Wi-Fi shield is still processing. So the best way is to check if the Wi-Fi shield uh, LED P104 is blinking steadily. If it's blinking steadily, then it's ready to receive commands. Okay, so there are many things that you can do with NeoPixels and the Wi-Fi shield. So your imagination is the limit. More tutorials on this and other projects, please visit adwinahacks.com.